Thousands of AT&T workers across the southeast, including hundreds in the Triangle area, continue to strike. And that strike is being led by the Communications Workers of America. And those union workers include 17,000 members in the region. Their strike started Friday. We need to be out here till, you know, whenever we can get enough awareness and whatever it takes, you know, trying to get all the support from the community and everybody, you know, to show everybody that we're trying to get everything done and trying to get better benefits for all the workers. The strike comes as AT&T customers in the Triangle have reported prolonged Internet outages since the start of the strike. AT&T has provided replacement modems to some affected customers in an attempt to troubleshoot those outages. But there's still no clear timeline for when full Internet service will be restored. Every day we were calling trying to get an update. We were getting some notifications via text. And then, um, then sometimes it wasn't any follow-up. It made me have to go into the office on yesterday, which is fine. Yeah but it still was an incon unexpected inconvenience. Right, right. Well, the strike is focused on the company's failure to bargain in good faith for a new contract as the previous contract expired on August 3rd. The workers are demanding that AT&T come to the negotiating table and reach a fair agreement. And AT&T did release a statement on Monday in response saying in part, quote, CWA's claims of unfair labor practices are not grounded in fact. We have been engaged in bargaining since day one and are eager to reach an agreement that benefits our hardworking employees.